Greetings, everyone. This is Jim Todd with Song Surgeon, and in this week's weekly video tip, we're going to give you a sneak peek of version 5 and the development that's currently underway. Today, we're going to focus on just two things. One is the GUI, and you see it on the screen here. We've spent a tremendous amount of time reworking the uh, user interface. Uh, it's going to be much different, but I think much better for you in terms of ease of use. So that's number one. Number two, I also want to just briefly demonstrate to you how this chord detection is going to work. So as you can see on my screen, as we start a song to play, the particular chord that has been detected that is currently being played by Song Surgeon will light up in a different color as you can see here. So let me just go ahead and start this and let you hear for a few seconds. So there you can see how it works as you play back and you listen along and you can see the chord changes on the screen. So that's one thing that I wanted to show you. The second thing is that if for some reason, and this chord detection is very good, we've compared it to main competitors out there and it works just as well, but if you feel that a chord is wrong and you'd like to change it or you'd like to remove it, if you right click you can do either edit or remove. I'm not going to do remove here. If we do edit, um, you will see that you've got the ability then to change the chord selection. Um, in this particular case, it's E flat. If you thought it was something other than E flat, you could select that and make a change. Let's just say we think it's E. Let's just say we think it's an E major. So click OK. And this chord changes from E flat to E major. So that's the second thing that I wanted to show you. The last thing I'd like to show you is the key and pitch change feature which all of you as Song Surgeon users are probably familiar with, and that is that as we change the key or the pitch, these chords up here should also change. So let's go ahead and do that. So we uh, change it by a half a step. You can see we go to D sharp major. We change it by another half step. We go to D major. Um, let's look at one of these other chords here. Uh, if we go up a couple of steps, you can see every time we change the key of this particular song by a half a step, these chords adjust automatically on your screen. So that is the third thing that I wanted to show you. A couple of other quick things and then we'll conclude this. Um, the next major feature which is almost done is the beat detection. Um, as you can see the beat once it's detected will appear here. It will be paired or correlated to the tempo of 100%. So if you, as you change the tempo then you will change the beat per minute and you'll be able to see that change on your screen right here. Uh, and as I say, this is almost finished. I think the next time we do a sneak peek we'll have that to demonstrate and show you. The last thing then just to mention to you is the issue of timing because I know all of you will have this question. We already get it frequently. Timing is by the end of the year. Uh, this has taken an extremely long time to get to where we are. As I say, this GUI has been a major, major undertaking. Chord detection has been a major undertaking. The beat detection has been a major undertaking. We have a bunch of other new changes and features, but those are much smaller. So I think finally this will begin to move along much more quickly. But I still anticipate by the time you throw in a couple of months for beta testing some point down the road, it's going to be toward the end of this year, 2016. So with that, I'm going to conclude this sneak peek update on version 5. Stay tuned to this newsletter, which is where you will find periodic updates to our progress with version 5. Thanks for watching.